Thanks, Dean. Time for Around Town. Hey, Anna. It's a busy time of the year here at S. Rosen's because they're baking rye bread for St. Patrick's Day. Over there, you'll see the loaves cooling. That takes about an hour and a half. And then down here, they package it up. I am here with fourth generation Rosen. This is Jason. Good morning. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Thank Glad to you. have you. So, how much do you increase production this time of year, you were telling me? Uh, we're up to about 100,000 retail loaves mm -hmm. this time of year for St. Patrick's Day. From 80,000 that you usually have? Correct. What do you sell more, seedless or with seed? Uh, I would say seeded. Seeded? Or seeded rye. Really? That See, gives it that great earthy flavor. Is that what we're looking at now? Is that the Correct. red bag? Correct. This is our S. Rosen seeded rye. So I remember meeting you guys in Chicago. Why am I in Indiana now? Uh, the <laughs> Laporte Bakery is where we make our uh, famous S. Rosen's rye bread. Uh -huh. And we're, uh, we're grateful to have you, and we're grateful to have a presence in Chicago and the Midwest for over 100 years now. 100 years old, and it's still in the family. Correct. Is there a secret recipe? There is, but if I told you, we might have to keep you here. Oh, I thought you were going to say kill. And I said, now <laughs> this is getting ugly. What's to my right over here? Uh, this is the end of our bread line. The, uh -huh. the breads are coming out packaged. And you will see this bread. And uh, what is that one? That is a, that is a two-pound seeded rye. Oh, really? Why isn't it darker? I thought rye bread was supposed to be darker. Well, you have, you have three general types of rye, a oh. light, a medium, and a dark. Oh. And uh, a, bohe a bohemian rye is generally a little bit lighter, which is what you're looking at coming off the line here. I love it. And then on the floor here, this is not a secret of, of like the trade, right? I can show this. Yes. Too late. I already pinned. <laughs> so look at these chains, Larry and Robin. This is where they'll put this, all these trays, and then you'll take this directly to the loading dock. That's correct. It kind of helps people take a load off and give the bread a little ride on its own out to shipping. Is this all automated now? Because I see very few people around. Uh, there there are a lot of automated components of mm -hmm. the process, but there is a st still a lot of feel required, and, yeah. and it does require a good team. And a lot of healthy precautions. Like, I, you can't wear any jewelry around here. And these gloves that you see, these are metal detectable. So if they fall, they get off of you, the machine will know, because no one wants a rubber glove in their bread. We should make that a t-shirt, Jason. <laughs> Hashtag no rubber glove in the butt, no medals in your bread. When we come back, all right, we're going to build some sandwiches because that's why I made Swery Mary drive out to LaPorte, Indiana, so I can give her some corned beef and rye bread sandwiches. We'll have more coming up around town.